So one thing I really enjoy in this process of curating wines for the Country Red Fruit Box is finding things with age on them. So finding wines with significant bottle age that are showing really beautifully. Uh, if you got the May box, there were two wines from the 2012 vintage in that box. And the point of that, of putting those wines in, is there's a white and a red, and I wanna show that both whites and red wines can age beautifully and really get better after some time spent in bottle. Uh, no different with this release. Uh, we're putting a few things with age in the box, and one of them is this wine that we're about to taste. This is the 2013 Bois d'Arlene Vaqueras. And this is a classic wine of Southern France. It's a blend of Grenache, Syrah, Mouved, and Carignan. And to me, this is a wine that speaks so loudly of a specific place. And that's why we're gonna taste it and figure out what it's all about. Uh, so this project, uh, the vineyard was actually purchased in 2013 uh, by the current owners, and they installed a guy named uh, Philippe Bernard as the winemaker. And this is a wine that's seven years old, and really not all wines show great with seven years of age. It's actually a pretty small percentage of what's out there, that if you were to set it down for seven years, it gets better or develops new flavors. What I love about Grenache, which is the primary grape here, and Syrah, which is the sort of main secondary grape, uh, is that they take on more and more savory character the older they get. They, it's kind of like a sliding scale of fruit on one end and savory on the other. And when a wine's young, the fruit is very high and the savory is there, but it's kind of muted. But as a wine from the Rhone Valley like this gets a little bit older, the fruit starts to calm down a little bit and the savory character starts to boost up a little bit. And you start to develop what we call tertiary character. And those are the flavors that come with age in a wine bottle. And this wine's got lots of tertiary character. Uh, when we put our nose in the glass here, fruit is, you know, third, fourth, or the fifth thing you get when you kind of start to smell for certain flavors and notes. This wine is immensely savory. It's got tons of white pepper, black pepper, green peppercorn, uh, all the smoke. It almost smells like bacon or smoked meat. And there's this beautifully cooked fruit underlying everything, like a big strawberry uh, that kind of binds everything together. So it's not just a salty flavor bomb, it's also got that really pleasant fruit that you get on the palate. Um, Region-wise, we are in the region of Vaqueras, which is in the Rhone Valley. The Rhone River starts in Switzerland and kind of courses through France all the way down to the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, and this is one of the last stops right before the river pours out into the ocean. So this is Vaqueras. It's near another region called Chateauneuf de Pop. It's very well known for its wines that are very similar in blend. Uh, and also you'll see wines called Cote de Rhone and you'll see those are kind of the entry level wines of this region. Vaqueras is another really great uh, higher end wine of the Rhone Valley. And I just think this wine is a perfect example of what Vaqueras should taste like. Uh, let's get into it a little more. We talked about that smoke, we talked about some of that fruit. The other thing going on here is a concept, uh, it's not just a flavor, but it's a concept called Garrigue. And Garrigue is a, is a scrub brush and kind of a mixture of flowers, scrubs, uh, plants that you see planted all over the south of France, things that grow wild. Uh, it includes things like lavender and rosemary and thyme uh, and sort of the classic scrub brush of southern France. Uh, so you see it planted everywhere and weirdly enough those flavors kind of end up in the wines that are grown in that region. Uh, and we don't know if it's the sort of process of lavender oil blowing through the wind and landing on the grapes that are near the uh, lavender fields. It's hard to quantify exactly how that's happening, but they do very much smell of a place. And that's what I love about these wines. They remind you of a place on earth. And there is pronounced floral character here, as well as all the smoke and meat we talked about. On the palate. Because it's grown in warm Southern France, it's a fuller bodied wine. It's got some oomph and some weight, uh, but it finishes pleasantly earthy and dry and refreshing. Uh, 
this is one that I really would love to see people cook with grilled things because of those smoke flavors, especially anything cooked over a live fire. Uh, I think pork tenderloin with olive tapenade would be really killer. Uh, I think any kind of roast chicken that you do with some sort of herbs and spices would be really fantastic with this. This is also a really good steak wine. Um, I think the possibilities are pretty much endless. Uh, I think this wine's showing so well for being seven years old and having that wonderful balance of fruit and earth flavors. So I really hope you enjoy this Bois d'Arlen Vaqueras from the 2013 vintage. Uh, crack it, you could even decant it for a little while, although you definitely don't need to. Uh, it's kind of ready to go right out of the gate. So cheers. Thank you.